In this video, I'm going to go over the iPerf and 2.014 for end-to-end -end latency capabilities with UDP. Um, for this to work, the clocks on both computers have to be synchronized. Um, on these computers, I have a GPS disciplined uh, oven controlled oscillator, so the clocks are synchronized to the GPS atomic clock. Um, there's other ways to do that, and I'll make a, a, a video on that later um, on how to synchronize two clocks. Let me see, look, double show that. Um, for the to see the option, you need to use the um, the minus e option. For all in, in all enhanced output, you have to use minus e on iperf 2.014. Um, so let's put that in. Let's put an interval every second and indicate UDP. So on the client, you just give it the destination like normal. Make it UDP. Let's go ahead and do an interval report. And it's E. Oops. Let's, let's try that. Like that. Okay. And then what you're going to see on the output on the server is a latency um, field. We'll have an average, minimum, maximum, standard deviation. In this case, over 10 gig links uh, with no traffic, comp competitive traffic. The average is 146 microseconds. The units of this is milliseconds. So the average 146 microseconds of that first interval, you can sort of look down and see what it's doing. Um, the, or on the overall run, it was 151 microseconds. The minimum was 61 microseconds. The maximum was 212 microseconds. And the um, at standard deviation was 17 microseconds um, so that gives you an at, uh, you know sort of a you know an average min max standard deviation but many times you actually want the full distribution because you need to see let's say 95 percent per tile point or 99 percent per tile point or whatever so um, in this case since I know sort of the distribution I'm gonna make the bin with 10 microseconds um, let me do a clear to let me start that over clear the screen and then we can put that up and just run it again and then let's see, and there's about 90 packets. So in this case, you're going to get what's called a probability density function, which, and it starts with T8. Um, that, there's historical reasons why it's called T8. But it, when you see a T8 PDF, that's the histogram for um, for packets. And uh, and the you know the sense of bin width is 80 microseconds. This there was one packet that came in at 80 microseconds, between 70 and 80 microseconds, and then between 120 microseconds or four packets and so forth and then here's your sort of uh your different your five percent 95 and 99 percent tile points any outliers and or any things way out of bounds will be shown here as well um so let's try it again with just a little bit more um bandwidth and see what we get let's do a gigabit per second instead and see what happens and it looks like we're getting, you know, the numbers are obviously going up because you're having a lot more packets. Um, instead of in the, in the above, it was um, 89 count per interval. Now it's 85,000. So this is a full histogram of all the packets. So you get a full end to end latency of every packet with uh, iPerf 2.014's uh, end to end latency capability. Again, you need to synchronize the clocks for this to work. If your clocks aren't synchronized, um, it may or may not produce output. If the output, if it looks like, you know, may be invalid. So it's kind of challenging to know if, if your clocks aren't synchronized. So you have to learn how to synchronize your clocks to use this feature.